Okay, so it's June 12, 2011. About 5.45. Sun is up. The moon is up. Let's take a look at uh, peppers here. Just real quick, this was a uh, jalapeno that I planted from seed indoors. And, uh, you know, through the winter time, I didn't think he was going to make it. And uh, he's, he's coming up pretty good. So, uh, and this eggplant here too. But, uh, yeah, let's check out these peppers. First up is our serrano. And right off the bat, I see one right here, bright red. And a couple other ones. Now, the serrano pepper plant, in my experience, is one that where you can just stare at it, you know, all day and uh, pick on it. And I swear, 10 minutes later, you'll find more. They're just, they just seem to blend in so good. So there's one, two, there's three, four, let's see here, five, six, seven. They're, they're pretty good size ones too. So, and then take a look at the flowers, They're, the blooms. Blooms are everywhere. This little flame grape in a uh, pot back there. But, uh, yeah, see what I mean? You just pull, pull back some branches and you'll just keep finding more serranos. And, alright, let's see. Let's go, what's this guy? Yeah, let's see here. A. A for Anaheim peppers. And these guys are doing pretty darn good too. I'm surprised they're this big. Normally I, I, can't, uh, I can't look at them w without pulling them. So I've been leaving them alone, letting them grow. Normally I pull them before they can get this big, but uh, check it out. That's man, that's probably what six fingers, six seven fingers in height there. So yeah, they're looking pretty good. All of these guys hiding back there with the with our grapevine, as you can see. Check that out. He's filling them pretty good on our little trellis system. But uh, where? Oh, here we go. Check these guys out. See, I missed them. I missed them. <laughs> Four. Look at that. Huge. Man, that is awesome. But I was real nervous when I pruned these, you know, even though that's, uh, that's the route I chose, you know, a lot of people don't do it. And uh, they didn't leaf out right away, and I was getting nervous. Yeah, but I'm sure glad I did it. Let's go down here to our first jalapeno. Uh, he's a little thin. I got uh, maybe a little more nitrogen, but he's, he's uh, I don't know, do you call it fruiting? I don't know, he's, he's producing these things, so that could be where the energy's going. I could, I could use, uh, I would like to see a little more leaf, you know, full, a little fuller. But, uh, I mean, can't complain about that. Check these peppers out. And here's where it's a little more dense and you get a little bit, a little bit more pepper activity up there but yeah I get some turning color and uh, yeah these are hot so but just for reference I think it's about 63 inches right here where the blue tape is so they're still up there it's just not as dense as before and then um, we move down to our final jalapeno which is a lot more thick and we notice some flowers and yeah, red peppers yeah looking good so this guy he was a lot taller this used to be the biggest one so yeah they haven't they didn't come back maybe as strong as I thought but you know what after I pruned them I just left them alone I haven't I haven't really taken the uh, the pruners to them at all I've just been letting them grow and um, my situation's a little unique where I just got my window screen so I had all these windows and I got a few behind me and that uh, morning sun gets reflected so I had some some burning issues and that could have stunted them but this is year two I'm expecting to leave them in for another at least two years I want to try to do it but as you saw from that first pepper that little jalapeno in the raised bed they get big fast so something like this you know you could start off with a seed 
and yeah one year 70 inch jalapeno plant how about that so this is Arizona so our climate's a little bit um, unique you know to say the least but perennial peppers right that's what it's all about salsa all that hot food so thanks for watching this is a pepper update